Ruth. Thank you, Ruth. Okay, so welcome to uh, Managing Your Club through my LCI. Uh, tonight, as uh, I suggested earlier, we're gonna have a very visual uh, tour through the inner workings of, of my LCI. Uh, this is meant to be a very interactive uh, meeting or uh, presentation. Uh, if we're going too fast or you have any questions about what you see, uh, please stop us, ask us. Uh, you can put it in, uh, type it in the chat, uh, raise your hand. Uh, PDG Ruth will be monitoring the chat and um, um, the, the hand raising and we can uh, discuss it. So um, a lot to take in. This is being recorded uh, if you need to go through it later. So like, as I mentioned, this is gonna be a, a visual virtual tour through my LCI. Um, Topping, uh, topics mainly concerning with updating and maintaining officer information, uh, reporting of membership. And we're gonna review some of the statements and the re reports that are available. And we'll finish off with some uh, Q and A after. So quick poll, how many of you are actually familiar with my LCI? How many have actually used it? Uh, I don't have everybody on your here Actually, I can scroll. I can make, I'm going to make this a little wider so I can see everybody. Um, so show of hands or thumbs up. Okay, we got one thumb up. Jerry's got a thumb up. Ruth's got a thumb up. Okay, so some of you have, some of you haven't. Even if, even if you've been on there several times, like I have, I, I've probably been on my LCI. Uh, guessing I've probably been on there 200 times. Uh, at least over the years, but there's always something new to find. There's a lot of information on there. It's just a matter of knowing where to get it. So we're gonna to touch on some of the basics tonight. So let's begin our virtual tour of my LCI. So if you have logged in, this is a somewhat uh, last year's uh, login page. If you type uh, Lions International, Lions Clubs International, lionsclubs.org, you'll come to this page. And there's a lot of information. You can see at the top, the discover and explore. Um, on the right hand side of the top, find a club, um, the LCI convention and shop and LCIF. But beside the big red arrow is the member login. That's where you have to uh, click to get to the login page. So you, some of these slides I've updated to more current. This is almost what it looks like. Some of the banners are a little bit different, but this is what I would get on my login page. It asks for your, your Lion account ID. It, it used to be my Lion had a different uh, account, but now they're in sync. Um, your, my Lion and my LCI access are the same and they have to, they're all synced. So your user ID is probably your, your email address that you submitted and your password. So this is, this is my login. I would click sign in and this gets me to the, the overall page. This is pretty cool because this is current. This is, um, I downloaded this yesterday and you'll see I'm with the Alliston Lions Club and you can see a bunch of uh, service metrics in there, upcoming events below that. Um, but the most important part of this page is the, the six uh, boxes in the top. You'll see the red box around My LCI. So that's where you'd have to click to get into My LCI. To the left of that, you see My Lion. So that's where you would access My Lion, of course. But there's four other boxes on there that have, some have been there for a while and some are new. <coughs> Insights is really quite cool. And that's not part of the training tonight, but Insights takes you through all kinds of statistics, statistics about membership, about service, uh, where we stand with LCIF and donations. Uh, Learn takes you to the Lions Learning Center. Shop is obviously to buy things. And the newest thing is the Connect. So we're having this meeting tonight on Zoom. Connect is available to all Lions clubs. And it works exactly the same. Well, it works on the same principles as Zoom, 
Um, the, the, the controls are a, quite a, a little bit different, but the cool thing about that is you can go to connect and you can uh, make a list of every member in your club. So when you're having your club meetings, um, you would just select your club and set the meeting and it would send a link to everybody. You're, you can have up to 75 people on that meeting and it's all free, okay? Now, having said that, um, I was on a meeting on Tuesday with uh, Vice President Patty Hill and we were supposed to be on Connect and it was down. <laughs> so it's, it's still got a few bugs in it, but for the most part, we've used it a couple of times at work. So I know that's not part of our training, but uh, I just wanted to share that with you now uh, as it per pertains to this page for the memo portal for my LCI. So here we go into my LCI. So when you come up, this is, this is what the opening page looks like. Um, there's six boxes, depending on what you're signing in as, you're gonna see different information. Uh, in my case, at the very top right, you'll see a message center, my profile, uh, select a different title and log out. Uh, in my case, I have four different uh, login titles that uh, I can log into. I'm logging in as the Media Pass District Governor, uh, logging in as uh, um, um, the MDA Childhood Cancer Chair. Uh, also, the um, I was put in as a guest because I uh, uh, I transferred clubs this year, so temporarily I didn't ever had access, and I felt useless. You know how you feel useless when you sell you. You lose your cell phone. Well, I couldn't log into my LCI, so uh, mm -hmm. uh, I arranged to have a guest uh, access. And I also have uh, access to the GLT. So if you have multiple titles, you can go up there and click in all those four titles. And each one has a different set of access to where you, uh, to these six panels down below. But for the most part, you'll see in the top left, you'll see my tasks. Um, and there's uh, basically reminders of what information that you, depending on your role, uh, should be looking to do. Um, obviously my club is your club information. This is a generic page that I've taken from uh, Lions Clubs International. So you'll see a lot of things on here about Oak Brook. Uh, they're not pertaining to me or anybody else personally. So um, the right box is my info. Um, bottom left, obviously members, if you're a club secretary doing uh, membership, you're basically just ticking a box to say if your membership hasn't changed. If your membership hasn't changed in a club, it doesn't mean you don't report it. LCI doesn't know your membership hasn't changed from month to month to month. So they just want you to, it, it's literally as simple as logging in, ticking the box and logging out and that's it. And we, as line leaders, we go crazy when secretaries say they don't have the time to record attendance when it's mostly the same. It may not change at all during the year, uh, but it's just basically ticking a box. Uh, service activities could come up as a reminder in the middle and officers, it's usually your district officers show up on the bottom right. In this case, with Peter Shellswell would be the governor and, and secretary would be Jen Ribado, treasurer would be John Squires, your region chairperson, depending on what region you're in, and your zone chairperson. Okay, everybody clear on that one so far? Moving yes. to the moving to the next one. Uh, this is the this is a the custom homepage. As I mentioned at the top, you can select a different title if you have multiple titles. You might be uh, a member of a club, and you might also be you, you might be the. Uh, um, you might be the president of a club and you might be a zone chair. So you would have two titles up there. Um, so, so each one is gonna give you different access. As club presidents, you would have access to change uh, and modify your members list. Whereas zone chair doesn't have the ability to modify any uh, member data on a particular club, but it would have other uh, access to other information pertaining to the district. So that's important to make sure if you have multiple titles that you're selecting the right box. Under support, um, they give you different uh, areas for training. I'm gonna move this box, boxes per tick. Oh, maybe I'll put this in the bottom here. There you go. Um, um, the support center, uh, again, you view your contact information. 
The training area gives uh, the status summary of membership reporting. Um, it also membership reports. There's a link for uh, you can view the officers that uh, may be able to assist you. Okay. Um, for version history. So there's a little bit of information, FYI, in case you, you're having uh, issues with some of the information logging in. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, top uh, My Lions Clubs, when you get under uh, your club, there's a bunch of information that is accessible. Um, members, you click on members and every member of your club will come up. Uh, club info, it'll, it'll tell you uh, the date of your meetings, uh, when your club was chartered, and so on and so forth. Officers, obviously the officers in your club. So it's pretty straightforward. Okay, the members page allows you to add members and report no changes for the month. It can edit a member. Maybe a member has moved or changed an email address, or maybe you just found out their real birthday. <laughs> for years, a lot of lions got uh, entered in and their, their, their birth date was January 1 in whatever year, because nobody bothered to put the date. Uh, it's mostly because applications that were filled out by incoming members, nobody bothered to ask them when they were born. So we didn't have their birthday. But if you had that information and you wanted to update it, you can you can do that. You can see that under a particular member, it says lion since and gender and date of birth and nickname. So um, nickname meaning uh, my real name is James, but my nickname, I guess, would be Jamie. So um, also you can drop members from that place. You can create a family unit. So you know, maybe you've got uh, a member in your club that maybe a spouse has joined or maybe a, a child has joined and they're, um, they're, that's where you would add the new person and then add them as a family member so that they can get the benefit of reduced fees to, to LCI. And also you can view the history, you can view the officer history. So at any member, when you view their history, you're gonna have, um, their club history, but if, they're, if they've been an officer, you will also get their officer history. This is very important information, particularly if someone, you know, in the event someone from your club passes, you can go on to my LCI and click on that member and view history, and you can get the whole list of, you know, when they may have been president or director or and, and serve, you know, maybe they served as president four times over the 40 years they were at the club and you can get that information. So uh, meaningful information in the event of a memorial service. So uh, next page, um, we're gonna go through the, the process of adding a member. So uh, when you're on that, your page of your club, you'd obviously add uh, in the top left, add a member. And it asks you obviously if it's a new member, a returning member, or a transfer member. Uh, if it's a transfer member, uh, you probably would just be asked to add their uh, member number. We all have member numbers if we're registered with, with Lions Clubs International. In this case, we're going to add a new member. So it, it prompts you to add all this information. Um, they want to know if after you put their name and address, gender, date of birth. <clears throat> um, they wanna know if they're a regular member, an honorary member, an affiliate member, an at-large member, a privileged member, a student member, or a Leo Lion member. So uh, a lot of information, most, you know, 95% of the time, it's gonna be a, a regular member that we're adding. But be Amy? aware that, yes? Uh, during the secretary's training, we actually sent them a handout that listed all of these and, and what the qualifications were for each one. Good. Excellent. So most people are not aware. I wasn't aware of uh, what a privileged member was um, or an honorary member, but, uh, um, you know, they, they are different uh, forms of membership that are recognized by LCI. But 
for all intents and purposes, when we're adding new members, we're adding a regular member. Okay, so this is a Leo to Lion certification form. Um, uh, I just put this in here. This is this is all part of this previous uh, presentation that I kind of imported, but uh, I've never seen this myself. Uh, I know some Leos that have become lions, but you probably have you get your hand up, Art? No. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I was just. I didn't know if you were showing reading me your the ring chat. or you, you had your. I was <laughs> <laughs> reading the chat. Yeah. Okay, so this this is the second. Uh, part is obviously the address the member correspondence um in this case they put united states 1917 lions way in oak brick illinois and contact information tell the phone numbers email addresses <laughs> pretty straight start forward stuff right confirmation um this uh, in this particular case, after you've added the member, you will get this up and it'll say member such John Doe has been added. Uh, and your membership reporting status would be uh, also identified on it. This is mostly pertaining to club secretaries that would typically add that, that new member. You can also select uh, certain member filters as uh, active members, student members, drop members. Now, drop members may, may, may sound um, a little bizarre, but drop members is, is kind of important. Sometimes we, we lose members uh, because of um, you know, personal conflicts, but maybe they really enjoyed being a lion and maybe the person they were in conflict with uh, is no longer with the club as well. Uh, I have from time to time gone over all the drop members in our club for the last 20 years or 15 years and considered calling them and asking them, you know, maybe it's, maybe they're in a better place that they're ready to come back and be alive. Maybe it was work, maybe it was family issues that they have. So it's amazing when you go through that, how many members in your club have been dropped for whatever reason. Um, far larger a number, I can guarantee that you actually have in your club right now. So if you have a club of 20 members, you're probably gonna find about 30 to 40 drop members over the years uh, on that list. Even if you got 10% of those, that's four more members in your club. So it's worth taking a look at from time to time. But all that information is available on my LCI. Added line members, um, added typically through the, the last year. Uh, associate members, life members, pending transfers. So. Uh, when you add a transfer, it doesn't go through automatic. <clears throat> Actually, what happened with me is I was in cyberspace for three or four days before my transfer went through. Uh, that's why I wasn't able to log on to my LCI because I had asked, asked permission um, or I requested the Bradford Lions to drop me so that I could be added to the Alliston Lions Club. Um, so they, as soon as they dropped me from Bradford, I was immediately unlisted or unrecorded with my LCI. So that's why I couldn't log in. But as far as LCI was concerned, I was not a member anywhere until I was added with Alliston. So when I was ad added, it took three or four days for it to get processed before I got uh, my login capability back. So, uh, and new members without sponsors, I'm not sure what that is, but that's definitely unique. Okay, uh, advanced search. This is kind of cool. Um, if you're looking for somebody, um, maybe that was in your club um, as a drop member or uh, maybe a, a deceased member or whatever, maybe you've got a club of 75 people and you're a new secretary and you're looking for somebody, you can put in their first name, last name, or actually they want, the, uh, looks like they want the first name and phone number, diff different, uh, pieces of data and it will do a search uh, to find members that were previously in your club or could be in your club now. So again, a little bit more information about what, uh, how powerful my LCI is. Club information page uh, allows you to upload pictures. Um, as far as the club, 
is concerned, maybe you want to put the building you meet in. Um, maybe you want to put your signature service project on there, but you have the capability to upload a picture. Uh, if your club has a website, you can put the web address. Um, you can add a club biography, a brief overview of you know how long your club's been serving your community and what you specialize in. And you can obviously add your club meeting location, which is important, especially for officers. Um, you know, uh, if an officer, for some reason, maybe they're 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 mobile and they're on their way someplace and they forgot their directory and they're not sure where the, um, um, the Port Carding Lions Club are meeting, they can grab their phone, go on to my LCI and go to their club webpage and then we'll tell them um, where they're meeting and the time of the meeting. So this is back in the olden days when we actually be, used to have meetings in person <laughs> Remember back then, yeah. So, but uh, hopefully we'll be there again soon. Okay, the club officer page. Um, if you're looking for club officers, you have to select the term. It goes back, uh, is, I think it's, it includes two years, two years or three years. Um, so if you're looking for club officers <coughs> or listings of them, it, it'll go back, for instance, we'll be, we're in the current year, we're in 2021, not 20, uh, 2020, 2021 is the current year, uh, but it will go back to uh, 2019, 2020 and 2020, 2021. Uh, so it, it won't obviously can't go forward, but if, you, if you're adding officers for next year, obviously it will allow you to uh, enter that. We'll get to that uh, um, shortly. Uh, officer types, um, between local titles, obviously president, first vice president, second vice president, uh, secretary president, um, LCIF chair, membership chair, things like that, directors. Uh, if you have to end their term, which, <laughs> I mean, you just can't come off a bad meeting and be miffed at somebody and log onto my LCI and end and their term. Uh, I'm sure if it's mutually agreed upon that you're gonna end uh, the term of a director or somebody in your club, uh, you have the ability, maybe they had to resign for work reasons or what have you, or family reasons, you can uh, end their term. Okay. Convention page. This is not. This is more for uh, district secretaries, district uh, uh, leaders. Uh, convention play, play allows you to view upcoming and past conventions. Uh, actually, I guess you, it is available to clubs as well. Um, view the delegates and officers, and view eligible member counts. So, um, I actually sent an email to our club secretary today asking uh, if I could be, you know, if nobody's spoken uh, to be the delegate voting at the international convention that's gonna be held virtual that was supposed to be in Montreal. Uh, I'm registered for the inter uh, international convention. I'd be happy to, um, you know, put forth and be the delegate for our club. But on this page, it will actually show you the different conventions that are coming up, the district convention, the multiple district convention, and the international convention. And I'll also show you uh, how many uh, votes you have. Um, in this particular case, in the red box, the small red box at the bottom, it says number of eligible members. And uh, for the uh, multiple district convention, and in this particular case, three eligible delegates are uh, able to vote. So if you're the club secretary, you're usually the person that have to validate the delegates and you can go on there and say view delegates and assign the members uh, that would be voting for that convention. Same thing for uh, the LICON uh, International Convention and um, the, uh, uh, the district convention. LCI statements, um, mostly accessed by club treasurer, um, but I believe the secretary has access to it as well. Um, as an officer with the district, I mean, we're constantly looking at that because, um, you know, we're not, <laughs> we're not just trying to be um, uh, intimidators, trying to shake down clubs that haven't 
uh, paid uh, their dues, but we do have access to this and we don't want uh, clubs to be left out in the cold when it comes to voting at convention if they haven't paid by a certain date. Uh, so we're constantly reviewing it, particularly when we get close to the convention time. But you can go through um, the, the accounting for the last three years. So you see in this case, this this page is a couple years old. So it was printed in 2019-2020 in in year. But you see that the accounting goes back two years. And you can pull up statements from the last well, two and a half years or so, three years. Um, in case you know there's any you know uh, maybe you have to show somebody in a club that some things were purchased or because when you buy things through um, uh, my my lion shop uh, it'll show up in here as well um, like club paraphernalia vests so on and so forth so uh, all that is accessible um, opt-in paper statements uh for a second here nancy want drat wants it i gotta move this um you can opt in for uh, opt out for paper statements uh, uh my former club the treasurer has been there for 20 years he's actually a chartered accountant but he files all my uh my business and personal income tax electronically but he He's a staunch uh, advocate for paper statements. He still wants paper statements. I thought he would have done this digitally, but he doesn't trust LCI, I guess. So, but you can opt out for the paper statements because they're all here. Um, you've got them all recorded there. I mean, you still, they're not going to take money out of your account without notifying you. Um, but, you know, all the statements are, are right here. So, okay. Um, new club application process. Uh, again, this is more for district and we've had this, the distinct privilege of doing this now three times over the last year and a half uh, with Baxter Ward and now with the two uh, uh, Lioness Clubs being the, the, uh, the Elmville Lioness Club and the Angus Lions Club. Uh, Elmville, Lions, no, Elmville Lioness Lions Club has been processed uh, and the uh, Angus Lion, Lioness Club is pending. So uh, it takes a process. It's about the week and a half to two weeks before it gets to. But this just takes you through the application process. Um, it has to be filled out by the cabinet secretary and district governor in most cases to, to get to the, um, the finalization of it. But I'm going to skip through this. You're welcome to look through it later. Um, again, this is the application process for a new club, but we're going to skip over this because we want to look mostly at the club level. And it, when, when this is all done, obviously you get a confirmation. Monthly membership report details. This, the, the detail available reports on here is is spellbinding. There's a lot of data, a lot of information compiled. Sometimes it's frustrating on the way they've set it all up uh, in order to extract that information, uh, but it's worth perusing through to see because uh, it is a wealth of information. And the best part about it is when you get to the reports that you may or may not be looking for, um, you can download them in two ways. You can just view and print them or you can down them, download them to Excel and they're usable files that if you need to you know, add more information to for whatever reason for your club. Uh, it's a very useful tool. Uh, on the monthly membership reporting, you can actually specify a certain month. So maybe you wanted to know where your membership was, you know, last June. Okay, because maybe it's affecting, um, I think the vote for uh, international conventions is a year and a day prior to the previous convention, but your membership is uh, there's so many delegates per per member so maybe you want to backtrack and find out what your membership is there so you can look at that information okay and so what you would do is enter the year everything is in numeric so the year is 2020 and uh, 03 would be march uh, and then you say view print and you would extract that information 
Okay, so this is an example of what the membership report would look like. Uh, I would tell you the um, information of the, the members from the last report, the new members, reinstated members, transfer members, uh, total before deductions, drop members, and members are close, 35, they're up one. Um, it'll have information, obviously a lot of this is blacked out, it looks like you know, Donald Trump's tax returns, um, all these things being blacked out all over the place, but uh, um, have information about the new member that was added. Okay, club roster uh, of membership data. Okay, uh, if you want to get a list of club members with membership type and the join dates and other uh, membership data, you would type, click on the club roster of membership data. And again, you have the option of downloading an Excel file or viewing or printing. So going to the next page, you would get all this data. So you could have it again in print format or Excel, should you have a reason to make some other list. Um, and this is the information you would get. Okay, am I going too fast? Any questions today? Ruth, you're muted. Uh, there's no, que no unanswered questions in the chat box right now. Okay. Um, they, there was a couple of questions about access and I reminded people that the president has view only access and the treasurer has limited access. The one person who can really change um, membership information is the actual club secretary. Yeah. Sorry, if I, I, I couldn't remember, I thought the club secretary had a little, or president had more access, but you're right. Okay, L Alliance Club officer report for the current year. Okay, um, we're gonna take a look at the data download from this again. Um, you can select Excel or view print. So this is the information you would get. You would get all the officers in your club, district information, um sometimes this is useful useful for officers or zone chairs perhaps going to a um to visit a club they want to know who all the offices are so you make sure you know who you're 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 greeting when you get to that meeting okay data download page uh, provides the ability to download specific data for club members Okay, so you get to tick those boxes when you download the data. You know, maybe you don't care so much about their their mailing address, uh, date of birth, occupation, their join date. Maybe there's specific information you want compiled, and you can collect that info. You can select that information, um, so it spells out exactly what you're looking for. Um, move the thing again here. Um, and again, it asks the filter for the fiscal year when you want that uh, data. Membership cards. Those that have been a club secretary, has anybody ever used this to uh, print out the membership cards? Denise has. And how was your experience with that, Denise? Uh, first try, it was a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you have to be uh, certain that you've chosen the correct size of paper and the number of cards. Uh, I was trying to use uh, Avery templated, like there were already a business card template and it wasn't lining up correctly for me, but I eventually fought my way through and I loved it. I thought it was great. So if you're going to use this uh, and you have any problems, please contact Denise Naughton. We, her email address is in the directory and she can walk you through it because admittedly, I haven't been a secretary and I've never printed out the cards, but I just merely wanted to show that that capability is there on my, my LCI. So remember, Denise I'm also, Naughton. I'm also, I'm also going to volunteer uh, Nan because I saw her nodding oh, her head agreeing okay. with me. <laughs> I'm a treasurer, but I do it. <laughs> okay, so we got Nan for 21 and we got Denise for 36. So, <laughs> okay, remember that covers membership cards. Okay, 
Leo clubs. We also have access to Leo clubs in here as well. We're going to skip through that one at this point. Questions and answers at this point. Anybody have any questions? Nothing showing up in the chat box. Maybe what I'll do is I'm going to I'm going to stop sharing my screen, and um, maybe perhaps what I'll do is I'll go onto my LCI live, and well, Denise has her hand up. Okay, just a second here. Okay, go ahead, Denise. So I was the one who initially asked about um, report membership. Uh, I knew it was the secretary that had the access to do it. However, my question, and you brought up the point, what if something happens halfway through the year? Um, that secretary may move on out of, the, out of the club to a different club um, or something horrible may happen that we lose this person who has that access. I do know that Mo has the ability to go onto clubs to do that update. Yes. Is there any way yes. that there can be one additional member other than the secretary? And I also ask this question uh, because some clubs, the secretary is a very large job. So um, it has been advised or some clubs have chosen to split the secretary's position um, to uh, give that one person a break from doing the whole job. So to answer your questions, uh, I'm not sure if you're allowed to uh, assign an assistant secretary. I mean, surely that is a position that is available. I don't know if they have the same access as the designated secretary or not. I'm not sure we can find that information out. In our, in our district, for the last three years, we've uh, uh, got a special request from, and we have to reapply for this every year um, through my LCI to get access uh, for Maureen help so she can edit. It's mm -hmm. chiefly because there are some clubs, particularly in the North in 21, that have limited access because of internet capabilities and they cannot get into my LCI and they can't even record their officers, their PU 101 for the next year. So she's on there. Um, mostly just to edit that information. Um, in the event, uh, something we, we, we don't typically dabble in, we're in the, at the club level changing stuff unless we're specifically asked to. But in the case uh, that you just portrayed, if a secretary up and quits and you know uh, no access, no login capability, um, then we could intervene and, 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 and help out to get somebody else changed over to the new secretary. So I don't know how other districts uh, operate, but uh, uh, it's worth looking to see about having an assistant uh, secretary. Okay, thank you. I, I raised this question because uh, I actually know of two clubs in our area where one, the secretary has uh, moved uh, totally out of the district um, recently. And uh, the other, the secretary had to step down uh, mm -hmm. due to health problems. And another member in the club stepped up to take on that position, but they don't have the access to do the reporting. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, I'm gonna log into to my LCI and... Um... Uh, Nancy has her hand up as treasurer and access to my LCI. She may have some answers for us. Go ahead, Deb. Uh, when you have an issue with uh, a lion no longer fulfilling the position, then get in touch with LCI and designate another lion, and immediately they will be authorized to take over the position. So just because they report at the beginning of the year, they're not there for the entire year. Uh, you can have people removed and reassign somebody new. Okay. Thank you, Ed. No problem. So this is the page I had on earlier. It shows you my line, my LCI insights, learn and, and uh, shop and connect. Uh, going to my LCI. I got a bunch of things. Oh, this is slow for some reason. 
I don't think Sue's on a Zoom meeting, but. Uh... Jamie, oh. it's Barb. Yep, Barb. Can you, this is probably going to be a silly question, but when you were flipping from the different pages, can, can you just show how you did that now that you've logged into my LCI? Yeah, so what do you mean live? by different pages? So. So what, you went, you went through, um, um, you went from my Lions Clubs, then you went into member history, that okay. sort of thing. You were going okay. slipping so, through different pages. How did you do that? Okay, so at the top here, can you see my, does my cursor show up on your screen? Yes. Okay. Yes. So this is the titles. This is, this is what I referred to. I was temporarily locked out and Mo yep. put me as a guest and the GLT, immediate past district governor and multiple district. So each one of these have different capabilities on this, but um, so I'll just go as, as immediate pass for now. This is the support tools that pops up if you need it. This is the four things that come up. This is multiple district. And this shows, you know, this shows the, all the different officers uh, for multiple district. Most clubs won't even look at that or even some clubs won't even care who that is. This is the district. And if I click district and clubs, this shows every club in the district and their standing and how many members they have. Add a members, drop members, club balance, all the way through their, where they meet, um, all 47 clubs in our district. My Lions Club, this is what you're looking for, is you want to go to go to home, go to My Lions Club. So this is where that member information is. This is the okay. six boxes that you see. So, um, you know, in this particular case, it's My Lions Club, it's the Alliston Lions Club. So this has information um, uh, about um, our, our club when they meet, um, service activities. You can look here and see, view service activities. Um, and okay, our, that's, that's what I was missing when you were just showing the individual sheets. I wasn't sure how to get yeah. there. So um, I'll go back to home. Um, my, the uh, our club secretary has not added, I know they've been doing service. They were actually supposed to be doing a service project last night. They did some work last weekend, but they haven't added them. So um, um, under this, this is where all this member information is. So you can hear, you can click on the members and it will show you every member. Usually it's in alphabetical order, but sometimes it's all over the place. Um, it shows um, every member in your club. When you go to history, this is what I was referring to. You, you look at history and there's two kinds of history. Um, there's membership history. Right. So there is, you know, I was with, uh, I transferred uh, from Bradford to Allison officer history. So, you know, this is my officer history from back, you know, when I was club president in Bradford or first vice president and so on chair, second vice up to um, current. So that's available for everybody. Um, Mike Jerry, the current club's president, you look at his membership history uh, and you look at his officer history and you can see that he's been club president twice. Uh, he was a president in, in 2004-05 and he's now current president as well. So, um, so that's the information you get from. Super, that's very helpful. Okay. Um, you can look at uh, officer's service activities. This is the reports. Uh, you can get a lot of information um, from the reports, uh, club officer report for next year. Um, see if they see if they've put the officers for next year. I don't know if the club has yet. Take no, no records found. Um, uh, family unit. See if there's any family units in this in Allison Lions Club. And there is one, uh, Lori Dean and George Dean. Okay, husband and wife, they're family unit. Uh, Club roster, we've seen that. Um, anyways, that's the basic information uh, you have at the club level. And I think that um, I can only view this on here. Um, so club secretaries would be able to have the capability to actually edit this information. Club achievements. See what that says. 
a list of uh, club officers, awards received by active members, club recognition, recent service activities, and donations made to LCIF. So it's a lot of information on there. So, and it, I don't know if this is of all time in the 80 years the club's been in existence. So it might take a minute to compile. So would this be something that the secretary would do or would LCI do this? Um, no, this is this is all LCI compiles this information. Okay. So, so I right a sponsor members. It shows it shows um, the members in the club and how many members they've sponsored. Um, Lions who are highly recognized. Um, so there's a whole bunch of information available on that. LCIF uh, tells you information about LCIF and who's making donations. Um, um, I'm not scrolling too fast. This is a, a list of service projects that have been done, right, over the years. So they are reporting. I think they're just lax. Uh, actually, this service project, that's me. I wrecked bird houses. I did that uh, back in March, so tree planting. So uh, so I think it's mostly recent stuff, the last year. Um, so, you know, there's a whole bunch of information <coughs> you can uh, access from here. LCI likes to have this information for their own reasons. They like to know where their membership stands. Even, uh, like I said, a club, you, in, in a given year, maybe a club only adds one member. So um, there's 11 months of the year where you're not adding it, you're not changing your membership. But LCI doesn't know that. So they, they want you, even if it's just going in there and say, a club attendance sheet or a club monthly reporting and you just tick the box and say no changes and you log off, that's it. At least they'll know, but uh, a lot of clubs don't even do that. Um, for all LSEI knows is, you know, uh, eight clubs in the district have lost six members and, you know, they, they want to know because, you know, they want to sound the alarm to the governor or whoever to, to you know, look into a situation. So it's kind of too late if they reported eight months after the fact. So uh, they like to stay on top. Okay, so that's just a little bit of, of a walkthrough. There, it's something uh, you'll have to peruse. I, it's, it's been a while, uh, Ruth, and maybe Nan can, uh, does every member have access to my LCI? Uh, not, not, not access, no. No. no? Only, only the officers that we mentioned, which would be at the club level, your president, secretary, treasurer, service chair. Those are the four at the club okay. level. And then obviously your zone chair, your region chair, and your uh, district governor. Officers, yeah. So okay. you, you uh, as a, a non-officer line, you get lookup uh, access on your own club only. Okay, but they do have access but, to it, though. That's my whole point just just your own club yeah you do have access so you could but you, you could, can't but they can't do anything they can't manipulate any information no i understand that no. But, yeah just uh, but if i just signed up uh with the gravenhurst lions and um you know got processed through my uh, through lci and i got my number and i was able to log on um at least if I wanted to know Nan's telephone number and there was no directory, I could log on to my and LCI get and get yeah. your information, right? Yeah. yeah. Like Dave, Dave right now is not an officer, <clears throat> excuse me, in our club, but he is, he has lookup access. I'm um, treasurer and I can manipulate some information, but not much. <laughs> I don't like that word manipulate. You can, <laughs> you can, you can edit information. <laughs> Same difference, I semantics. <laughs> I know. You can screw up the information. <laughs> so that's a brief overview. There's a, like I said, uh, every officer has different, different capabilities as you move beyond your club. Um, governor has access, uh, secretary has access uh, to a lot of most things at the district level. Some of the things the secretary would do is they would have to um, uh, put the information for the upcoming convention. Um, 
uh, I did it last year, uh, put the information for uh, the convention that was to be had this year, as well as report uh, the, who the district governor elect is to be, or excuse me, the second vice district governor elect because they already know the other um, officers are in the in the uh, the lineup, so to speak. Incoming uh, secretary, uh, cabinet secretary would put all the uh, zone chairs, region chairs, because we don't assume that they're going to carry over. There's a limit to it, anyways, of three years. Um, so there's different capabilities. Um, when you get beyond that, if you become a um, international director, then, then there's a higher level of uh, information that you you have access to. So, uh, but this is pertaining mostly to the club level. Uh, a lot of clubs don't report. Uh, we're hoping that, that through education and seeing uh, hands-on how easy it is to do that uh, we'll get more clubs to, to uh, report on a regular basis. So. Any other questions? I, I believe I that there's a training. I believe there's a training uh, part on there as well that you can go and um, uh, just have uh, limited access just to see the capability. I think it's usually this time of year that it happens, isn't it, uh, Nan, that you have extra access to see different features? Again, you can't edit anything, you just have access to it. Uh, the training component is on there all the time and it just gives you hypothetical situations. Right. So you learn how to uh, fill out the forms and change data. Okay. So as an I example- think it's a it's, sorry, it's important to just uh, feel comfortable to go in there and play with it. You know, exactly. click on this and, yeah. and look around and see what that does. I don't think you can hurt it in any way, right? You can't delete anything. So no, be, no, because it's completely segregated. It's it is a training module, so it, yeah. it's not connected in any way to your club data. Data, so is, pardon me. <laughs> so this is this is what Nan's referring to. So you go to support. So you log in, whatever access you have, you can go to a training area. Yeah, and okay. then you can play around with adding yeah. adding yeah. members and yeah. changing addresses and status, et cetera. Yeah. Yep. And so, how to make those uh, membership cards. Yeah, and how to make <laughs> There you go. Yeah, they're a treat, aren't they? <laughs> I, I share your frustration. I think I've got it down pat now. <laughs> So uh, Lion Beth has a as a new Lion new president or president for just over a year now. Have you been on my LCI? Yeah, yeah, I use it all the time, and um, actually, because I'm the secretary <laughs> for another month, I I look at it that way too. I kind of I didn't hear a hundred percent in the secretary training the people that aren't um, registering. We have some people that have moved away actually five that have hmm. moved away so do i um cancel them now I, I thought i kind of heard you say like what's the date that i i um drop them for well, the june 30th um so you don't i think it's june 30th so you don't get dinged for lci dues for july 1st yeah definitely don't want to get dinged for next year but do I drop them now, even though they've paid their dues for the year, but I know they're, they haven't been involved with the club now. So do I drop them now? Doesn't it matter. It doesn't matter. Is, is there any refund on those, Jamie? There used to be, I'm not sure if there is um, anymore. I, I don't, I don't recall if there is or not. Cause you used to get a pro rata right, refund. Right, yeah. Right. Mm, okay. Right. I yeah, didn't drop them early. Because they did pay for the whole year, so I yeah, didn't but think that was fair. Yeah, but um, well, the members don't get the rebate, but no, the members don't. The club get, does. Get, would get credited yeah. for it. So, I mean, if there is a chance, then then you might want to do it anyways, and maybe you save yourself twenty bucks U.S. for the four or five members in the last month that they're not members with your club. Or, or, just or, suggest... maybe, or maybe just ask them if they want to be transferred. They would still drop them, but maybe they want to transfer their membership and may, be a lion and, and transfer to a club where they're moving to. Well, if they're dropped in good standing, it doesn't matter when you drop right. them. As long as they rejoin a club within 12 months, then there is no trans there is no uh, new member fee. There is a small transfer fee. Okay. 
sorry, Denise, go ahead. I, I was just going to ask, I was going to make the same comment. Uh, if they're dropped in good standing, you can do it any time. And if, even if they're option of considering to join another club elsewhere. Mm -hmm. okay. So Jerry, as an officer, how often do you visit my LCI? There it is. I found the button. Um, I, I go into it a lot because I look for all the reports and all the memberships and see if how everybody's doing with their uh, with their activities and stuff like that. I used to um, when I was visiting again way back when when we used to actually do club <laughs> visitations. I I used to go onto my LCI. And I would, you know, extract some club information and I would just put it on a little bit of a, um, a sheet. So print it out so I'd have it um, just, you know, get sidetracked or uh, maybe wrote down the information wrong or what have you. And I'd have all that contact with it, particularly um, club presidents, secretaries um, mm -hmm. and uh, first vice presidents, just in case. Uh, you need additional information on route, or maybe you had car trouble or what have you. So I used to also have the directory as well, print out the directories just so you had uh, yeah. that information mm -hmm. as well. I know for myself, when I was zone chair, I made sure not only to use it prior to visiting the club, but I also used it prior to my zone meeting so that I could make sure I had updated information mm -hmm. and had an okay, idea. Yeah who was busy and who wasn't and, you know, who wanted to share some, some stuff that maybe would help the other clubs. You know, God bless Maureen for doing an amazing job for a directory, but sometimes she can't keep up with it. And people, as you can see, it's easy to uh, change your email address uh, during mm -hmm. the year. <clears throat> and that can be changed in an instant on my LCI. So you're more likely to get more accurate information from my LCI than actually from the directory. So. The Durants did the directory for a million years and they know all about those uh, yeah. pains. 11. <laughs> <laughs> and who's counting? <laughs> you did a great job. <laughs> Thanks, Bart. <laughs> a labor of love and frustration combined. <laughs> <laughs> so that concludes our presentation on uh, my line or our, our virtual tour of my line for, for all intents and purposes. So my LCI. Uh, my LCI, yeah, sorry. My LCI was last week. It's a short sure week, but it's been a long week. Uh, yeah. I know. And, uh, and winter's coming back tomorrow. So, uh, oh, don't say I that. Hope, I hope you enjoyed your summer last week. Don't say that. Um, so, uh, I'm, the whole sorry. world's gone crazy. I'll let you guys all go and you can cover up your pl vegetable garden plants that you probably put in last weekend mm -hmm. before the snow flies tomorrow. So Don't say that. Excellent. Yeah, I know. Anyways, thanks. Jamie. Thanks, Jamie. I'm Thank sorry you, I couldn't Jamie. get Thank here you, earlier, but it was a long meeting I was in. <laughs> so. Nice to see everybody. Thank yeah, you. Sure. Good night. Yeah. Yeah. Good night. Take good night, care, everybody. everybody. Thanks, thanks. Jamie. Thanks. Stay, stay safe.